Hi guys! Today I want to show you some of my favorite Google Chrome extensions, so let's talk about it! I wanted to talk to you about some of my favorite Google Chrome extensions because I do use a lot on a day-to-day -day basis and Chrome is definitely my favorite browser out of all of them and a couple that I use um, I just wanted to share with you because I use them pretty often and they have made my life so much easier. So the first one is Mitro Login Manager and it actually saves your passwords and makes it super simple and easy. I know there's a lot of extensions and other um, applications out there that saves your passwords but I found this one to be the easiest of all. So here's Mitro in action. Um, if I'm going into a website and attempting to log in, um, in the first try, I would put in my username and password and log in. After which, Mitro is going to be asking you if you want to save that password onto your Mitro account. And we could just click on save. Afterwards, if we ever log out of our website or um, we sign out and want to log back in, all we need to do is go to that web page and on the very top bar Mitro is going to ask you which account you want to log back into and in this case I'm going to be selecting the let's tech about it account click on login and it just logs me in immediately so this is super useful for websites where you have different accounts like Facebook if you have multiple accounts for that or Twitter or um, Hootsuite or any of that the next Google Chrome extension that I use a lot because it's constantly running on my computer is Photo Zoom for Facebook. And um, this is really an awesome extension for people who are on Facebook a lot or someone who's on Reddit a lot. Um, what it does is literally Facebook photo zooms on all the photos that are on your wall. Or your timeline and um, if you're on reddit you're gonna be able to see all of those pictures zoomed up up close so that you don't have to click on it it's super efficient for you to just scroll down and just see everyone's pictures without having to click on them um, if you're like a fast-paced information soaker like me then you're gonna love this because for me, I won't have to click on every single photo um, that I want to see, and it just gives me the zoom. So, like I said, if, you, if you're if you on Reddit all the time, then you're probably going to love this as well. You can just click, I mean, hover over every single photo or GIF, and it'll just show it to you without you having to go through each, each thread. So, it's one of my favorite Google Chrome extensions. Um, I'm pretty sure that there's other ones like it. I think there's something called hover zoom out there. I'm pretty sure it's, it's just as great. I'm not exactly sure if it works on Facebook also, but um, this is definitely something that I use every single day. My next favorite Google Chrome extension is the turn off the light extension, and it allows you to turn off the light around the video that you're watching. So you just click on the very top right corner um, next to your bar there's like a light bulb there and just click on that and it'll turn off the lights and it'll allow you to watch your video in darkness. Um, you could adjust the setting on the extension app itself and you can make it as dark as you want. Right now my setting is turned to gray um, and you could change everything by going into your settings. My next favorite app is actually something that I found out about recently, but it's helped me so much in the past week. Um, I've been using it for about a week, and it's called Digo. I might be mispronouncing it. It might be Digo, but um, what it does, it allows you to save articles that you find online or web pages. Um, it allows you to annotate them. So the icon lives on the top right-hand corner, and all you need to do is select which function you want to use. So right now I'm using the annotate function, function and it allows me to highlight certain things, um, look up certain words. Um, also it can let me save the actual page or that um, annotation um, onto my Daigo profile 
and I can add um, little comments onto the annotations themselves. I can either I could even share the annotation on my Facebook or Twitter. Also, there's a ton of more functions that I haven't even yet used, but the common ones that I do use are just the save the page function and tagging each page with my own special tag and saving it to my own list so that I know exactly where everything is and in case I want to read it later. The next app that I want to talk about is PicMonkey and it's also not only a Chrome extension but it's also a browser, um, just a regular web page that you can use to um, Photoshop certain photos and images and create cool little graphics for your website. Um, it's pretty much the easy version of Photoshop and yeah, I can admit that I'm not the expert in Photoshop which is why I love using this extension myself. Um, you can add your own photos, upload your own photos um, onto this extension and then crop it as I'm doing right now. Um, I'm just using The Hobbit as an example. It doesn't necessarily mean that I love it. And you can use a bunch of functions that you see on the left hand side. You can apply filters. Um, I don't have a specific filter that I use all the time, but they are sort of like Instagram. So I guess you can use this in place of Instagram if you were using or if you were trying to create a graphic on your own. Um, you could add little icons like these little hearts here or add different themes to your graphic as well as borders. So this is a really cool um, extension if you want to create your own graphics for whatever purpose that you need or for any project that you may have. It's super easy. You can add it to your browser or you can just go to pickmonkey.com and um, you don't have to sign up for an account any or anything, but if you do, it's going to be free. Last but not least, one of my favorite Google Chrome extensions is called Adblock and many of you may have heard of it before and it basically gets rid of all the unnecessary ads that you don't want to see on your YouTube and other various sites. So all that you need to do is add it to your Chrome browser and it'll just get rid of the ads, imme ads immediately. Um, I guess that's all of the Chrome extensions that I wanted to talk about for today. But if you do have any favorites that you'd like to share with me, um, definitely leave me a comment in the comment section and I'll go ahead and check it out.